We'll be doing this Photoshop Elements kind of soft and dreamy portrait effect. And we'll start off with this picture right here. Now obviously there's a lot of yellow in here, so I want to balance our colors. But first let's make a duplicate of our background. So where it says background over here, right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. And then hide the original. Just in case things mess up, we can always go back to the original right here. Okay, let's not take care of that color cast. Go to Enhance, come down to Adjust Color, and remove Color Cast right there. Pick something which should be black, white, or gray. And this guy is pretty good for this. We'll click in here somewhere. And that's nice. That's fine. And then choose OK. So that takes care of our Color Cast problem. Now the Orton effect, a kind of a nice soft fuzzy effect, that's done with a guided edit. So go over here, and you'll see your image right down there. The first one, left-hand side, that's the sample file I showed you. And the second one over here, this is our working file. You can see it right there, a little working paintbrush up there. Now in here, you'll be seeing basics first. So go over here to Special Edits. And the Orton effect is right here. It does kind of a soft focus effect in here. We'll take this further, of course, though. But first, let's go ahead, click on your image, make sure it's selected. Look for that white outline, and then click on the Orton effect right here. This loads this in, right hand side, where it says Add Orton Effect. Click on that, and that adds in the effect. Once you have this, you can now adjust the blur, noise, and the brightness. So I'm going to add in a good amount of blur in here, kind of like that. Let's bring in some noise. This adds a bit of grainy effect in there. That looks pretty good. And then you can adjust the amount of brightness. Left is a little darker, right is a little brighter. I think somewhere around in here somewhere, maybe I'll leave it at zero. I think that's pretty good. Maybe a little less on the blur, just a touch. So go back and forth on this to get an effect that you like. We'll be coming in here and working with the face as a second step. Click on Next, and then click on In Expert. This puts us back over into the Expert mode. Notice how it's also given us a whole bunch of layers in here. Here's our copy of our background. It's given us a new copy here, a layer for the focus shift, which is that one right there, and a layer for the blur, which is that layer right there. Now hide the two layers here, and then hold the Control, Shift, and Alt keys down, and then tap the E key, and that makes a duplicate of those two layers right up here. And now we can go ahead and hide those two layers. Now come down and show this layer right here, the Guided Edit layer. And then up here on Layer 1, add a layer mask to that. There's our layer mask. And then go over and grab the paintbrush and get a pretty good sized soft edge brush right here. And bring your opacity down pretty low. 25% is pretty good on that. So here's our brush size right there. And then just come in and just do a little bit of brushing right over the face. And that brings back in the original photo in that area. So everything else has that nice Orton effect. And you brought back in the original just in the face area here, maybe a little bit in the flowers to bring back some focus right in just that spot. And the last thing you may want to do is to come in and crop in just a little bit on this. So let's go over here to our crop tool. Click on that. It's going to automatically set up a crop. It will give you a suggestion in here. I don't think that's quite right. So go down here where it says no restriction. I'll set this for a four by six. That's our 4 by 6 ratio. I think that looks pretty good right in here. Maybe a little bit lower. Just about like that. Hit the green check mark. There we go. There's a nice crop in with this really interesting kind of faded out and fuzzy portrait effect. Let's go full screen. There we are. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and I'll see you next time.